Hello and welcome to everyone in our YouTube channel. This is Sanjeev Chanchuri from St. Joseph School. Today I am here with one of the chapter of class 7 science that is measurement. I am going to discuss one of the portion of chapter and measurement today and please listen carefully because at the end of this video there is an assignment which is related with this video. So let's get started. In our daily life, we experience different quantities. Some of them are measurable, whereas some of them are not. Some quantities like length, mass, time, they are measured accurately. And these quantities which are measured accurately are termed as physical quantities. Whereas those quantities which cannot be measured accurately but can be felt are called non-physical quantities. So while measuring physical quantities, we compare the physical quantity with a standard quantity of the same kind which is constant throughout the world. Now. The definition of measurement is in this way. The comparison of unknown physical quantity with a known standard quantity of the same kind is called measurement. Just now we studied about the definition of measurement. Now we are going to study the importance of measurement. Why is measurement important? It is important because it helps us to buy and sell goods. कुनै पनि सामान बजारमा गएर किन्न र बेच्नको लागि मेजरमेन्टले हामीलाई हेल्प गर्छ। जस्तै हामी आलु किन्दा कसरी किन्छौं? आलु किन्दा हामीहरूले 1 केजी आलु, आधा केजी आलु अथवा स्याउ सुन्तला किन्दा हेरी हामीले त्यस्तै एक केजी, दुई केजी गरे रखें सो, है ना रा? So you one kg and two kg are the units of measurement. So they helps us to buy and sell goods. Apart from that, it makes our judgment reliable. And accurate. It is also used for scientific experiments. Kinavani, in scientific experiments, the substance should be an exact amount. We can't use random amounts. So during the experiments, these Measurements helps us to measure different quantities required for the scientific experiment. The यो भन्दा पनि धेरै इम्पोर्टेन्ट कुरा चाहिँ के हो भने जसरी अहिले हामीहरु कोभिड-19 पेन्डेमिक स्टेज भएर गुजिरहेका छौ कुनै पनि रोगसँग लड्नको लागि हामीहरुलाई दवाई चाहिन्छ मेडिसिन but medicine are also provided in dose. Kosalai thore dose ko medicine le kam gar sa bane kosalai dhere dose ko medicine le. Isse le medicine pani yota dose ra aur ko dose low dose high dose maati mere ko kya unsa tha available unsa. So for the preparation of medicine as well, measurement helps. Few minutes ago, we studied about physical quantities as those quantities which can be measured accurately. So now here in this section, we are going to study about different types of physical quantities. What are those types? They are fundamental quantities and derived quantities. What are fundamental quantities and what are derived quantities? 
what are the conditions that separate these two quantities so fundamental quantities are those physical quantities which are independent of other quantities means they do not depend upon other quantities for example length time mass the unit of length is meter which does not depend upon others the unit of time is second it does not depend upon other for example time does not depend upon length and length does not depend upon time whereas those quantities which are derived from fundamental quantities means these quantities are dependent on fundamental quantities so these quantities which are dependent upon fundamental quantities are called derived quantities for example area the general formula of, of area is length into breadth length is also measured in meter and breadth is also measured in meter so here area depends upon 2 meter means two fundamental quantities that's why area is a physical quantity which is dependent upon another physical quantity so it is a derived quantity a unit is the standard reference quantity in terms of which quantities are expressed for the measurement so, unit is the standard reference quantity in terms of which other quantities are expressed for the measurement. Ye unit harumadema Junsi majority of the people le use garsa, it is termed as standard unit. So the units which is used by the majority of the people at a certain place to bring uniformity in a measurement is called standard unit. There are two types of standard units. They are fundamental units and derived units. I will talk about physical quantity. Fundamental physical quantity and derived physical quantity. So, the fundamental physical quantity ko unit line is fundamental unit. Derived physical quantity ko unit line is derived unit one in some. so definition one is sir those units which are independent of any other units are called fundamental units they are the units of fundamental quantity for example meter for length kilogram for mass and those units which are derived by using fundamental units are called derived units they are the units of derived quantity for example square meter for area cube meter for volume so this much for today remaining person we will continue in next video and for this video you have an assignment which is as given in the figure or the video uh, make a chart of 10 physical quantities used in your locality along with its unit and also identify whether it is fundamental or derived quantity. We have to draw that in chart and write it down. Write the name of physical quantity in the column of physical quantity and mention its unit used in your locality and mark whether it is fundamental quantity or derived quantity if it is fundamental quantity mark a tick mark in the column of fundamental quantity R. and if it it is derived quantity then mark a tick mark in that column okay uh, this is 
for today. We will meet you later on. Till then, stay safe, take care, and have a good time.